Hello Stitchy friends, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Ish, my washing machine is playing up today and the alarm keeps going off on it all the time. And um, I've had to drain it myself about seven times. So I'm gonna have to phone them up this morning to, to take it away and blow it up to smithereens because I'm fed up with it. It's been saying it's got 16 minutes left on the dial for about an hour. And, oh, Washing machines are sent to try our patients. I'm fed up. Um, apart from that, I'm doing good. Um, my health, see, I seem to have a lot, of, lot more energy since I've been taking those um, tablets for my liver um, I feel a lot better um, so that's a good thing um, I haven't had any appointments come through yet I'm still waiting for my two appointments um, but I did get a letter saying um, what did it say it said you're going to get an appointment soon I mean what was the point of that I knew I was going to get an appointment why well, send a letter to say you're going to get an appointment but not actually give me the appointment it's a bit odd. That was a waste of a tree, wasn't it? So, yeah. Hmm. Um, Stitchy-wise, I've been um, trying to do a little bit on everything, if you know what I mean, this week. Um, and even one that I started ages ago and then kind of just vanished to one side. I did quite a lot on that this week and um, I was surprised I enjoyed myself on it but I'll show you that in a minute um, haul wise yeah I did buy some stuff um, sorry you know to those of you that don't like people who show off their stuff but there's plenty more of you that do um, like to see so I'll show you what I've got um, and I suppose I could start off with my little witchy tin, which is here. And that's like one pound witchy tin on Amazon. And it's got a little cauldron on there and it says witch's brew. And there's a little witch in the moon. And I use that to keep my needle threaders in. Ooh. And she tips them all over the place because I've only got three in there at the moment. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Um... Well, it's beautiful to me because I like all things witchy. So there's that. Um, I also bought a um, scissor fob. There we are. Can you see there's a little pink owl on the end of there? Isn't he pretty? Um, and I got that from Etsy and the Needle Keep Emporium. And she does really pretty scissor fobs. Really beautiful, crystal y kind of ones. Um, and she only charges just over two pounds for a scissor fob, which is amazing. Um, so, and she also does needle minders too. And she sent me a fantastic witchy needle minder as a freebie, which I was thrilled to bits with because I love all things witchy. Um, and yeah, so she sent me the witchy needle minder with this. And plus I bought a crown needle minder offer and I guess I'll I'll show you those when I show you my projects um, so that was really really nice um, and I, I really like this I've been thrilled to bits with this I've got another one upstairs on my scissors by my bed um, and it's, it's very similar but it's kind of um, light blue light pink light blue light pink and then on the bottom it's got a little fairy sitting on a moon so that one's upstairs um, I guess you'll see it one day. Um, what shall I do first? Shall I do my haul or shall I do my progress? Let's do my progress, shall we? Now, first of all, what have I done? Let me see. I'll start with the one at the back. And here we are. This is Music Amongst the Trees. I haven't picked this up for a while because it went wrong and I lost my confidence with it. But I picked it up yesterday 
and I did extra tree I did following this border around I did a rabbit that is a rabbit can you see the rabbit and I did an owl so yeah it's a little bit of progress but progress is progress it's moving on so hmm I'm hoping it's going to fit on I've got some extra fabric on the back so it should fit lengthwise it just seems quite low down so I'm hoping that's going to fit down there should fit I'll have a border along there with words in it my mind's ticking over and worrying I think it'll fit if it doesn't well it's an experience isn't it um, my next one is this one here and it's a la -dee da pattern and it's the seven virtues and let me show you the picture of it first where is it here look there that's what it's supposed to look like okay la -dee da seven virtues and that's what it looks like now um, there's my crown needle mind I got from Needle Keep Emporium and that's my free witch she sent me which is gorgeous thank you so much for that love it um, so I've got the word the and I've got to put seven virtues up there and then it's going to be compassion kindness humility um, gentleness patience forgiveness and love so yeah and I'm enjoying this because it's words and they stitch up quick and I was really pleased with myself with that little motif there that looks good now my O is slightly wrong I think it's slightly too I've missed a stitch out up here somewhere so that motif in the middle is too low I think I might have to pull it out um, but that O, I got it wrong about three or four times on Sunday and I must have pulled it out and put it in, pulled it out and pulled it in and it took me nearly all day, That's that stupid O. So, um, yeah, not in a hurry to pull it out again, I'll tell you. So I might leave it and then stitch it all up and then come back to it later, as you do. So that's that one and I'm liking the fact that it's only three colours in there, you know, three colours. Oh look, you can see my back, terrible, I don't care, because for me it's just the enjoyment of doing it and having something to put up on the wall, it's not like I'm going to sell it to anybody, it's not like anybody would want to buy it. Um, okay, next one. In the Fluxy bag is which board? Oh, I just dropped a load of stuff on the floor. There's intelligence for you. There we are. Now I added the cat there this week. So I've just got to do the bottom of him and his curly tail that goes up around there. Um, I like this, but I've sort of need it to be on a bigger Q-snap really because I'm sort of stretching it towards the ends where it becomes uncomfortable to stitch um, and I've done the easy bit really the fun bit and now I've got the hard bit to do and maybe I should have done the hard bit first because I've got to do all demons and bats and things around the outside and there's a lot of stitching in the same colour for rows and rows and rows which is boring um, but yeah I'll get it done I'll get it done so I've kind of put it to one side at the moment because I can't face it I can't face it so put that on there okay what else have I done Game of Thrones there we are Christopher I did this guy here, I've no idea who he is, 
and then there's a king there which I'm in the middle of doing um, so I've got to do I think one two three more there and then another row of characters and then the game word and then thank goodness it will be over this is just dragging on for me um, I think it's because I've got a time limit on it and I have to do it which is making me not want to do it so I try and do a tiny bit even if it's just five stitches every day just to add a bit to it but it's going slow for me because um, I'm not enjoying it anymore but maybe if I put it to one side and do something new I might start enjoying it go back to it and enjoy it um, I mean I like it I put in a lot of work into it it's just I'm fed up with little fat people too many fat people and I don't know who they are half of them anyway so that's that this was on look at that funny thing there this was on a um, like a roller bar first I took it off and I put it on this thing because it had like um like this bends back and it had another bar on there and it sits on the table then you see like that see well it, it did when it had the other bar on it but I just found it really awkward to work on so I took the bar off and, and now it's like that and it's got all this fabric getting in the way um, so I've got to do something about that that's so annoying um, but it's getting there we're slowly slowly getting there let me just pick up these bits hang on guys oh, it's falling on the floor. I'll show you those in a minute My fringe is growing too long, I have to snip it. I've got a pineapple today, look. Can you see, that's all the leaves in the top of my pineapple. And this here is the pineapple. You see, a pineapple. Um, I've got this one I'm doing. Here we are, and there's my lovely needle minder from the Haunted Bat, thank you Lizzie. I love it, it's a good size and it's needle stick to it really great thank you um yeah so please go and have a look at haunted bats videos and look at her etsy store and let's support her lovely so yeah so i've done the witch's skirt and her two little shoes and that's the start of her broom um and this is the other witch so she's got a great big dress thing there, which I'm dreading because it's all black and it's just stitch, stitch, stitch. That's why I've kind of abandoned it for a minute. But I'll get back to it. Um, yeah, so that's where I got to on that. Uh, what's that? It might be dog thread. Dog variegated thread. Um, right, so that's what I've got for projects. Hang on. No, that's not. That I haven't done anything to. This is um, this is my new project bag. And I got it from Finger Pricking Good on Etsy. Now, she makes great project bags. I love her project bags. Um, I wish she'd have some bigger ones because this one don't fit. But at least it keeps it clean. Um, so this is my witch's kitchen. And I ain't done nothing to it. But I'm showing it to you because um, I was using Vonna's stitch method of um, just putting the needle straight down and straight up instead of at a slant. I don't know dogs are barking at now. Um, yeah. So, and all the stitches are really flat. Now she said they would be, and I thought I'll try it, and they are. Look how flat they are. That is a flat stitch. You can't see any bumps on that. So that's Vonna. Thank you, Vonna, your stitching method of making flat stitches. Needle straight up, a needle straight down, and flat as a pancake. Thank you very much, Vonna. 
so yeah that goes in there isn't that nice look it's cross stitch it's beautiful and this bag this is my favorite bag at the moment just wish you did bigger ones that's a 16 by 16 that one I really need 18 by 18 minimum really I think um, but I did get the last of Baltic Needles project bag this is an 11 by 11 um, and look it's pink inside uh, and she's got her little trademark lighthouse on the end there and this she's from Etsy the Baltic Needle from Germany and it only takes a few days to get here from Germany so yeah looking forward to putting a project in that one um, what have I bought oh I bought some new patterns now they're not terribly expensive because I like to look for patterns that are a bargain this week and the bargains I found are this so I've got the map of Hawk Run Hollow. Look at the map. Look at the bird. That looks great. I mean, it needs a lot of threads. I've only got a few in there at the moment. Needs a lot more. Um, so I won't start it yet. But I'm thinking that maybe my son might like this for Christmas because he likes maps. And it might give him something to look at. Look, there's a little horse pulling pies. I like the sound of that, the horse pulling pies. And there's a graveyard there. Can't go wrong with a graveyard and a forest. What else? A bakery. So cakes and pies. And Merry Crow Garden. What a place to hang out in Merry Crow Garden. So yeah, that's a great one. So I got that one from Arts and Designs. I'm pleased with that. My next bargain was by the Cricut Collection and it's Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. I'm sorry about the glare, but there's nothing I can do about it. Isn't that nice? So yeah. Can't wait to do that one because there's lots of little things, lots of little mini finishes that suits me down to the ground. Sleepy Hollow. And the last one I got was I got this from Patchwork Rabbit, I think, and it's from the Cottage Garden and it's called Halloween Sampler. Look, and it's got all magical words on there abracadabra broom creeps is it creeps creepy dracula eerie frankenstein goblins halloween something jinx knocking loot magic newt october pumpkin quake raven spells twilight unusual Voodoo, Witch, X-Ray, Yells and Zombie. I'm not sure what that work says. It might be Imitate. But anyway, that's a nice one. Lots of words to do and little tiny quick finishes. I think I've got just the fabric for that somewhere. And... Of course, I got some threads. I had to get some more threads. You just have to. And this week, I've got some more bejeweled. Because it's like one of my favourites. I got Zack Black, which is not black, it's grey. It's kind of a lilac grey. I got, what's the time? I got chocolate cream pie, which is like a fawn colour. 
classic colour works. Got a lot of classic colour works. I'm quite enjoying classic colour works at the moment. I got on oh, some more bejeweled. I had to have some extras in my stash of that. Um, is that the other one? I'm sure I would have bought three. Yeah. Three. Bejeweled. Lovely. I got from the gentle art I got carriage black which is kind of dark brown really I think it's brown rather than black um, I got straw bonnet I'm fascinated with anything that looks remotely like parchment so I get them all but I like I like off whites instead of whites when I use them in my stitching because it looks more vintage. I got bandana. That's a nice red. It's like my dress. It's pretty much the same bandana. Oh, dropping it. Rain shower, which is kind of a greeny grey. Greeny grey rain shower. It's got slightly variegated. Slightly lighter, slightly darker in there. Uh, lemon drops. That probably come in handy for some moons. Um, it's got some whites in there and some really darker yellows. Can you see? Silver fern, which is really pretty. Really light green. Um, <clears throat> what for? Otter Creek. I like this one. Look at Otter Creek. Can you see that? There's kind of <clears throat> a lighter green through there and darker greens. Turn it round so you can see. You can see all those colours. That is lovely. I'll definitely use that on something. Um, Shaker white, I like my whites. Here we are. I have summer shower, which is kind of a bluey grey with white bits. Gentle arts. Uh, or oh, another white one, lunar eclipse. Now that's kind of like a beige white, that one. I think creamy beigey white and that's from Crescent Colours. Uh, Garden Gate from Gentle Arts. That's nice, look. Garden Gate. Uh, toffee. <clears throat> I'm sure I bought that before. Or was it apple cider? Might have been apple cider. Um, burnt orange. So that's really variegated, that one. There we are. And blackbird, which is really brown bird, isn't it? Yes, that's really dark brown bird, not blackbird. But I like it, I'll use it. Um, this I think I showed you last week. This is an last week's stuff I got. Yeah, I showed you blackberries, didn't I? Blackberries and sea glass, that's last week's. So that is my haul for this week. Oh, apart from I did buy a piece of fabric. I got, um, what was it called? Picture this plus Wren. Um, but that's tucked away somewhere in my fabric box. So that machine is going off again. So it's just going to have to be a short video. So I've got to fix my washing machine. The alarm's going on it. Um, so yeah, just a short video. Um, just to show you what I've got and what progress I've made. It's a crap video, I know. I'm sorry, but there you go. Um, hopefully next week will be a better one. Um... Doggies are, are suspiciously silent. 
they all rolled in um, fox poo this morning when we went out for a walk and they stunk to high heaven so I had to bath them in the sink and now they're hiding um, but it's their own fault if you roll in fox poo you've got to expect that um, someone is going to want to wash your bottom horrible 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 anyway I'm going to go because I've got to fix alarms going on my washing machine I've got to fix my washing machine um, I might just oh, set fire to it or something I've just had enough today um, so take care of yourselves I will see you next week and hopefully I'll have a much nicer video bye